good morning students today we will start the exercise number 3.3 from lesson number 3 before starting the main exercise we will learn some rules of division this is the introduction of exercise number 3.3 नेक्स्ट क्लास वी विल स्टेट स्टार्ट द मेन एक्सरसाइज तो बिफोर टेकिंग अप द डिविजन सम्स लेट अस फर्स्ट रिव्यू द इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डिविजन फर्स्ट नंबर प्रॉपर्टीज व्हेन ए नॉन जीरो नंबर इज डिवाइडेड बाय इटसेल्फ द कोशेंट इज 1 व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस स्टेटमेंट व्हेन ए नॉन जीरो नंबर is divided by itself the quotient is 1 that means if you divide a number by the same number you will get the quotient 1 this is the example 25 is divided by 25 your quotient will be 1 suppose the uh, 309 is divided by the same number 309 you will get 1 the quotient if you divide 5623 by 5623 that means same number this number is divided by the same number that is 5623 you will get 1 and so on second property is when a number when a number is divided by 1 the quotient is the number itself what is the meaning read it again when a number is divided by 1 any number if you divide by 1 the what will be the quotient the number itself for example you see that if 39 is divided by 1 you will get the quotient 39 if you divide 529 by 1 you will get the quotient 529 if you divide the number 7305 by 7000 um the question this example sorry here was the um, uh, mistake 7305 if it is divided by 1 you will get the question 7305 okay student the main um uh, statement is if you divide any number by 1 you will get the number itself as a quotient okay student now come to the properties number 3 when zero is divided by a non zero number non zero number okay the quotient is zero that means If you divide zero by any number, the quotient will be zero. Notice here, zero is divided by thirty-five. The quotient is zero. Zero is divided by two thousand thirty-seven. The quotient is zero. Zero is divided by five hundred eleven. The quotient is zero. That means if you divide zero, if you divide zero by any number. by any but it will it must be non zero number it must be non zero number if you divide zero by zero that will be infinity that is undefined so the divisor must be non zero number in this case you see zero divided by 35 zero zero divided by 2037 zero zero divided by 511 the quotient is zero okay but the divisor or in all cases you see the divisor is a non zero number 35 is not non zero number 35 is a non zero number 2037 is a non zero number 511 is a non zero number okay student now the fourth rule this is very important <coughs> this formula is to be used to verify the answer of division this is divisor into quotient divisor into quotient plus remainder equal to dividend we know in our division there are four um, components divisor quotient remainder and dividend okay so if you 
multiply the divisor with cosine and add the remainder you will get the dividend okay the, what is dividend the number which is to be divided the number which is to be divided is called dividend so to get the dividend you have to multiply divisor and quotient first then have to add a remainder you will get the dividend okay student i have given you an example suppose 29 to be divided by 9 in this case 29 is the dividend 9 is the divisor okay i have uh, divided it you see that 3 is the quotient and 2 is the remainder so we have right uh, written here 9 is the divisor 3 is the quotient 2 is the remainder so as per formula if you um, multiply divisor divisor 9 by 3 quotient this is divisor into quotient plus 2 is the remainder i have added 2 with this and we have the result 29 which is nothing but the dividend which is nothing but the dividend by this way we can verify the verify our answer during the division okay and the last important hai uh, during division the remainder at every step would be less than the division take an example in this case 9 and uh, 29 is divided by 9 and we have the quotient 3 in all step you will see that the remainder is will be less than division in this case 2 is the remainder and 9 is the division so 2 is less than 9 that is division okay student these four five rules are to be learned very carefully okay so your homework will be learn and write all the above rules in your class work copy neatly okay student thank you